him. Thanks for having me. Um, first is first, I happy new week to all our esteemed viewers all around the world, depending on where you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you all. God bless the works of your hand, all our viewers. And um, before I start, I want to make a statement. Yeah. Please, um, if you are listening to me, depending on your tribe, yes, I'm from Abekuta, I will say, but depending on your tribe, your religion, please listen to me from, from, with an open mind. Leave political party by us. I don't make any political party. I'm obedient, but listen with an open mind. What I'm about to say, what I see every time, the reflection of what I what I feel is the truth. Jesus said, "Shall not be true, and you shall set it free." I love to come here and say the truth and the way it is, and I, and I, I won't take for any for any reason. Now, um, first things first. Does Nigeria have to borrow? That is that is. I love that question. Do we have to borrow? To me, it is no. Now you can see. You know, I told you everything falls on leadership. A passenger paid our debts in this country, same country. So everything falls on leadership. Now you are hearing the controversy. Was every was, when you say things, they say, Why do you come to politics? It's no, after God, government, everything is related to politics. Now, the past, past week, we are in that senators padded three trillion naira to the budget. Now, if you are asking you to borrow money, there is no money, they are padding three trillion. Naira. Now, the presidency came, came out yesterday and said. It wasn't three trillion naira, it was one trillion. My brother, one trillion naira. What it will do for this economy? You know what I'm saying? So now, now, if our legislators and our executives, we don't need to borrow any money, sir. We don't need it. Nigeria can be self-sufficient in everything. You know, sir, so I was reading a piece for him of what I don't know what did as a regional um, leader in the southwest. The man invested in two things. Education and agriculture. In Nigeria, I'm talking to you now. Education is being attacked. The, 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 the farmers are not able to go to farm. Everything, don't, don't forget oh, my point. Everything depends on leadership and on the political class. You are hearing the kidnapping going on in the north now. Even the farmers cannot go to their farms. You know what I'm saying? Now, to compound everything, to make everything miserable. Senators injected one trillion naira in the budget. Now the other senators are crying foul. I was, I, 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 I keep on making this statement without any out of doubt that on that worry, it seems that you are operating a northern system of, gov of, of, of government. Now this present government, now are you operating southern government? No. It seems that we are operating Western system of government. Why is why is government favors the north? The Fulanis. The 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 the, the um this tribal government is favoring the West. But which people? Only the political class will enjoy patronage. You know, it, it, I was thinking what's in my last week. I said everything depends on force on leadership. When China wanted to go, Chinese revolution, two things, education and agriculture. I don't need all these things. Now, I was, I, 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 I was telling somebody yesterday, he was very happy. I said, no, forget about your government. Are you, as a prime minister, away from this government? The answer is no. And the person was referring to, the, the, the person was saying that, the Eagles are the people. I said, the Eagles are not the problem. It is what they buy that they are going to sell. And I was making the point, I said, listen to me. In, in, since 1999, the only tribe that has been able to vote right was these people. He was attacking me. He said, "Now nah, you have something again." And then I said, "Nobody giving me money." No matter what, I always say the truth here. Every any candidate that the people people rejected are always useless candidates. If people people voted for you, it's usually the right candidate. 1999, they voted for Basanjo. You understand? They voted for Basanjo. The Eagles voted for Basanjo. Basanjo did well. 2007, they voted for Yaya Dua. Even though the man was late, Yaya Dua did well. 2011, they voted for Gulogu Rata. He did well. 2015, they rejected Gwari. The Eagles people. The Gwari did well. No. 2023, they rejected this man again. That means, to, that means you have to follow those people. I don't know, I don't know what, what they see in voting. But they always vote right because these people they are more of traders. They, you know, that's all. So they know business. They know they are able to vote for. 
So everything comes on We don't need to go a dime. Nigeria, we don't need to go a dime from anybody. We don't need to. What we need now, number one, stamp corruption. Corruption is our problem. Stop inflating the budget. Number one. Number two, if there's electricity, we saw what Alessandro is doing in Rana. We tell these things every time you get angry. We saw in Abia State, it does not matter your tribe or your religion. As far as you are there, there's life for you. Now look how it's running about. So if, if it can be replicated all across Nigeria, number one, corruption, if, if you stem if you stem corruption, you keep corruption. Number two, there is light in Nigeria. The minister of power is holding the power bank. What a, what a tragedy. Number three, if there's security. The farmers can be to go to their farm. You go to the farm. You cultivate your now in, in some places in Nigeria, some farmers have to pay bandits to operate in the farm. What a country. In some places in Nigeria, farmers will be beheaded, their hands cut off and everything. And the government will say we are not if government can track somebody, government has the power to do this if there's a political will. I was saying this. If our government wants to work, they will work. Enough of all this, all this, all this political. We don't want to, we want re return governors. Number three, if the security in Nigeria, even investors are seeing everything, what is happening in this country? Number four, how do we go forward? We don't need loan, like I've always said, we don't need loan. But now Nigeria is broke. How do we uh, get uh, money to stabilize the Naira? How do we get money to stabilize the Naira? Because we are being uh, made to understand that Nigeria is broke. God bless you. A country, okay, let me give you an example because I always make practical examples. Now, when I'm making my example, if you call a five year old girl, come and listen to this man. She will understand what I'm saying. A five year old boy in the primary school, not this school. If a father tells the children, Oh, my, my, my children, I'm very broke. There's no money in my hand. And children don't have to, even the wife would have to the father. They say, No problem, father, we can manage. Then, let, mother, mother takes the children and they're strolling out. They now saw the same man that said that he's broke. He saw my beer parlor, buying drinks, eating pepper soup, and, and, and buying food for people in that, in that beer parlor. Would they be happy? Nigeria is not broke. If Nigeria is broke, I'm going to see it in the political class. I said they added one, one they said three trillion. Now, for the policy said one trillion. They added one trillion. One, not one thousand. One trillion naira in the budget. They bought 160 million naira cars. Nigeria is not broke. Nigeria has never been broke. There is money in this country. What has given us everything now? You know, I'm going to say this. Nigeria is a conspiracy amongst the politicians, the religious leaders, the national governors, the civil servants. You know, and the elders of the nation. Your religious leaders, they know that this country is not broke. But they will keep on telling the, the people that the, the people that, that they are living, pray for Nigeria. What should we pray for? God has given us everything. We have grain, we have natural resources. The greatest disaster that can happen to any nation, any nation is leadership disaster. I told you last month in Japan, earthquake happened. The host of the to too. After the earthquake, so after two weeks, they, they, they repaired that road. That if they told you last two weeks, this road was to you, you will never believe. Because they have good leaders. Natural disasters cannot kill the nation. But leadership disaster that we have in this country, we can, no matter what you have. You know, sir, money, not where well money to be squandered. You keep on squandering money on all, all sorts of illegalities, of frivolities. You know, sir, I told you last I said, if only to loss, if, for example, every politician, your children should not leave the nation. They should stay here and go to school, number one. Number two, in health. That if you are sick or as a politician, no, treat yourself in Nigeria. Two things will happen. We are going to have the best hospitals and the best schools. So you see that uh, they, know, they know what they are doing. All their children are abroad. Some of them have, some of their children have dual citizenship. They themselves, they have houses abroad. They go abroad. As of 40 years ago, Dubai was a desert now. You understand? So, with their, with their own group, they're able to kill the creator. Look at Nigeria. Saudi Arabia has more, more on oil than even on pilgrimage. But Nigeria will go there to pray. So, our, 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 our problem has never been spiritual. Our problem is economical. Back to this topic, but everything lies on leadership. We don't need to borrow a dime from any nation. We don't need to borrow a dime from any nation. Even our leaders should look at those. And the people before the civil war, after the civil war, 
You gave people three pounds. After you twenty pounds, I think twenty pounds. Oh, oh, you gave people twenty pounds. I heard to uh, go and say that you crossed them. Today they are everywhere. Anywhere you go, you just say they go man all the way from there. They go and they are doing business. That means even with the they have, they grew, they grew. That means our country too. Adopt that same mentality. Don't need to do anything. Just cut, 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 cut down on corruption. Cut down on, on useless and and expensive spendings. Cut down the cost of governance. If, for example, president has president has access to only ten million naira, then after after four years they give me out. Only Peter will be with contest. Most of them will run away. No, that one is not coming to government to enrich himself. He's coming to ask something. He said, what is, he's a billionaire. What is he going to see from out there? He said, I said, I'm going to expose the governors. You know, I said it, sir. I'm going to expose the governors. But they are giving you money. You are spending it. But this one, no, I was asking, I was telling somebody one day, I said, why do you think Alessot is performing? Two things. No, Godfather. He said, I said, no, Peter Abu will never be. I know the, he will never be a godfather. He will never be a godfather. Okay. And the source does not have any godfather. So he can perform freely. Number two, he's already rich, a businessman. He wants to come to the government to impact people. That's what I'm saying. But this was, look at look at our governor, look at our senator. This is what I'm saying. Kaba, Kaba. There's no Kaba. Nobody is greater than the government. Nigeria does not need to borrow money from anybody. That is my point this so morning. So, what's your take? Uh, the president is considering opening the border. It is long overdue. It was not, because people. Do, I was telling somebody. I said, "What? Um, uh, uh, Tinubu is an extension of Buhari. Yeah, no, they are different. They are not different. No, but he, he, he backed Buhari in everything he does. It was the one I even said print more naira in 2022. Now, inflation. Why print more naira now? It's coming back to blame him. This is wrong about you now. Why close the border in, 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 in the southwest that brings food? You put your border there. So, this is the right time for him to do it. And see, don't, anytime I talk something, don't forget what I said. I've always felt Tinubu is a better politician. You know, there's no between governors and politics. Oshelu Ati Oshejoba, we call it in my language. Tinubu is better in politics. I don't think he's better in governors. I said this from the beginning. And when I talk, I don't. I, I've never come here to to insult anybody. One, I've never, I've never come here to call for coup. No, two, I've never come for any meeting for I've never come for any violent protest. I've never come to for any revolution. But in saying the truth, you will see it. Something that you said that stru struck me. You said Igbos have always chosen the uh, best uh, presidential candidate. Yes, my best. My be the tomorrow. That's why they were calling me on my name in this place. They said I'm a bastard. I'm not telling you about this. I'm proud. I, I am from Abuja. I'm from Omo Edan. Omo Edan. I'm from Abuja. My best friend is an Igbo. Because when, when I was growing up, I saw that my people hated this Igbo. What is the problem? They said that outside people are better. I did my own independent study. Why? When I was I was young, I saw I saw they opening shops. They rented the house. They don't sleep in church like this. They don't sleep. In so I said, okay, let me go close to them. I started seeing that all these things are lies. I, I, I started reading books about civil war. These things are lies. What Ojuku was calling for is what Trika was calling for now. Yes, he's not talking. He's just saying about government. So these things are lies on these people. So I, I, I don't want to them. Then by picking my friend, I pick them because they have business. What I cannot do, even man will risk. As if for business, ah, let us do this thing. It's not the money. I said, if it's like legitimate, I said, I, I always follow him. That's my best friend is an Igbo person. Now, I now saw, I asked an Igbo man, civil war, he told me. I asked my father's friend, is Obama, almost the same thing. I said, yeah, why, do, why do you hate these people so much? So then I discovered that this Nigeria, they want these people to be conquered and defeated. But those people, they have risen up. That's what I love about them. The Igbo, they are meant to be conquered and they are meant to be the beggars on the street. But they rose up. They helped themselves. And today, they are where they are. And if you follow that analogy as a human being, live by religion, you are going to succeed. When they see a boundary that they know, I don't, you know, when people say they are following the people, I say no. They follow the person. Even your bad people, we didn't vote for person in 1999. It's a fact. They voted for a They voted for a person, Obama. No, no, I said, they voted for a Yaradua. It didn't work. People can see that, Obama. This time, in the 2015, they get a boy. I said, why? Do we like, they were sorting them. They put their own basket. I used to say, but now look at Bahia in eight years. My government is the worst in the state of Nigeria. 
2023, they didn't vote for Tinubu again. Look at it. That means they are visionaries. That means they can see. That means they are, that means they are not terrible leaders. And that's why you can see. A lot of your bad people are going to change their mind. A lot of them forget what you see on social media. That these people, they are our brothers. You can't come to any of them. Obama will not come. And you know, now listen. When is Obama now? I will say he goes our enemy. There has never been a time in the state of Nigeria. Let everybody counter me. That he goes and never fought a war. Never. The Obama will not come to your land and grab your land. Like what happened in the north. No. They will come. They rent. They pay money to the rent. They rent your shop. They rent your house. If they have money, they buy your house. They marry your tribe. And they live peacefully. The next thing they learn your language. See, education without exposure is equal to ignorance. You can be educated, but leave your comfort zone. You understand? I've been to places in Nigeria. That's why I love. I don't pull out any time. I've been to, I've seen different types of people. But if you're in the bubble, you stay in the only one place. You're you are, you are only staying in Yoruba land. You're not traveling to the east. You say, I'm a people. No. Go to Imo State. There are Yoruba people walking there. One of my best, one of my friends, when, when, when we are learning work, now it's in better states. Better not. Or she will be. But I don't move Is my family going to Umar? The lady. Yeah, you see that? You have shot there. No fight, nothing, nothing. He can't come to the Lagos anymore. Don't fight, don't fight anymore. So the problem... See, okay, let me give you... Let me fire close. About tribalism, listen to me. During Wigwes, this um, this Wigwes death, where they were doing the... Just, um... So you know what I You saw Yoruba, Aousa, Igbo, Kalaba, businessmen, politicians. They sat down together. There was no problem between them. Because among the elites, the rich people, there is no tribalism, there is no religion. Even in the National Assembly, when they are sharing money, no tribalism, no religion. But when it now comes to the poor people doing the election, they will not throw in the card of tribalism to divide the poor people. Nobody can divide me. It goes, you always be my product forever. I know them, I know what they stand for. I've read about them, my friend has never wished me back before. So I know them, they are, they are not the people of Nigeria. Our problem is come, we have no common enemy, the politicians. Enough of this political sentiment. God bless you, sir. God Thank bless you. God bless you.